Well, I've stumbled into a room that has fantastic AC, and I get to learn more about it again with my buddy Rick, spending quality time with us today, which I'm super grateful for. As you can see, we're standing in front of a Yazda, and as I've mentioned, air conditioning. So, for those machinists out there, you might already know what room we're standing in, but we get to learn more about this high precision and how it's done, Rick. The AC feels good, doesn't it? Oh, it feels great. It was yeah. humid outside today. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we think about high precision, yeah. we have to be temperature controlled. Of course. We know that a one degree of temperature can change microns oh, yeah. on anything, right? And some people don't realize how tight a micron is and how small a micron is, but one degree of temperature can change it within a machine shop. So having a temperature controlled room, that's a bonus. Oh, definitely. Uh, of course, we're using world-class machine like Yasta here. We definitely want to make sure that we get the best out of the machine. So we have to have the best condition possible so to get the best condition parts. Well, you are already known for creating quality machines. Yeah. You're now focused in the five axis world. Yeah. You and I and other videos, check them out. You must check them out. Have talked about how the importance of precision as you get further away from the table and further away from the part is harder to get toward and you're focusing on that in this precision world anyway and we were just in the foundry as well by the way which was amazing and you talked about the importance of of having a strong foundation for the last 40 years but when you get into this world of precision and you're making spindles and precision components and making sure that your entire world yeah. of ycm purchasers, customers, buyers out there are taken care of. How do you so meticulously make sure that that's done? Oh, well, definitely it's a whole process. It's just not an overnight thing. Again, we talked about experience. We build those experience and we have to make sure that as also the machines will evolve. Uh, they become more complex, uh, more difficult. Uh, for instance, the five axes, we talk about volumetric accuracy. Uh, to maintain good volumetric accuracy, you have to have geometric accuracy. And this is where it's done. You have to, done, you have to be machined in a, a very precise machine and precise environment and to give a, a, a give you a offer a good good uh, better uh, more precise machine well when we look around here it's very obvious yeah. that you've made the investment yeah i mean we're standing on a platform right now and, and looking down at the cameras at this point and the people behind the cameras enjoy hopefully enjoying our conversation <laughs> right but we're standing up here so you've made the investment but understanding how machining works yeah. not every component needs this environment so which components are you focused on in here to make sure that your machines are discussionably some of the best in the world oh of course um for instance we talked about five axis that's definitely the, the parts that has to be machined in a, a high accuracy environments and also the spindles itself uh, a lot of spindles you on high speed spindles they definitely have to at the speed that you reach you have to have good accuracies and you have to maintain that accuracy have you ever tried a machine that did not in the spindle? Have you ever seen the vibration or yeah. the wear and tear that goes into not just the machine, yeah. but the component all the way? I mean, I've seen that. Yeah. Now, I know we're going to sneak into the area where you're making spindles as yeah. well, but can you give the guys out, the guys and gals out there a little bit of a highlight? Uh, you make your own spindles, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. We make 90% of our own spindles. The spindle is the heart of the machine. And that's the most critical part. And that's how you bring value to the machine. Is on, you have to, again, it's all about experience building. We've been building spindles for over 30 years, and we have a lot of experience in that. It's the heart of the machine, and you're the heart of this conversation, my friend. I can appreciate you. Let's head on over to the spindle area to learn a little bit more about what 30 years can get you. Okay. So kindly snuck us behind the door that's just behind my camera guy to sneak us into the heart of the machine as Rick so aptly described. What makes us the heart of the machine and what does 30 years get us here, Rick? Well, spindle is the heart of the machine because in the cutting process, it's the spindle that's doing all the cutting. So that's where, how do you control the chattering? How do you control the, the performance of the, uh, the cuts? And that's where it all starts. It's all starts from the spindle. You and I have talked throughout all the videos we've been making about the importance of being able to run automation, to be able to run lights out, to do more within one machine, to do right. done in ones. But one thing that pops into my head when I think about being able to fully autonomize a shop is thermal expansion. 
Yeah. How do you guys deal with thermal expansion? I'm sure you've worked on that over the last 30 years, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course, there's definitely ways how you can control the uh, thermal growth of the spindles. Uh, but there's different, different ways you can do it. Uh, you can take the heat out of the spindle, or you can also uh, compensate uh, the growth of the spindles or through software or also through hardware, through sensors, uh, where you have uh, uh, displacement sensors, uh, where you can uh, compensate for the movements of the spindles. I've actually seen you guys participate in that part of the world as well, making sure that your machines are one of those modern styles that's constantly understanding uh, the process of a job to make sure that when I'm machining something, that before it leaves that machine, it's exactly what I programmed and exactly where it needs to be. So the displacement that might happen in some areas, in some parts of the world, let's say, where humidity is quite high or machine shop doesn't have total control, there is a understanding of what that heart of the machine can do, along with the balance and, and quality of everything else that you put into it over the last 70 plus years. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, this is the heart of it. So uh, we have put a lot of efforts, politics. Uh, engineering into their spindles uh, to make sure that we give good quality product to our customers. Yeah. yeah, and that's what we need to see as we close out this tour. Yeah. When you understand what you're investing in, you're investing in products that have been around for decades and three generations and the largest Taiwanese company in the whole country. And these are the important aspects to understand. A foundry of over 40 years, spindle dedication to over 30 years, third generation, family owned and operated. And they believe in not just themselves and you, but their distributorship service and support, their dedication that goes into it. This is YCM and we are honored, Rick, to be here with thank you and share time. So thank you so much thank for you, opening Tony. your doors to us. Thank you. Thank you for your, thank you.